Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt with The Movement System. Today we're gonna to talk about how to calculate cardiac output. We're gonna talk about the equation for it and then we're gonna use some examples calculating it at rest and during exercise with someone who's sedentary and for an athlete. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so the basic equation for calculating cardiac output is heart rate times stroke volume. So heart rate is just what you can measure if you're, you know, have a watch or if you're counting your heartbeats, it's how many times your heart is beating per minute. Stroke volume is the volume of blood pushed out of your heart per beat. So each beat, your left ventricle will contract and push blood out into the aorta and out to the body. The volume of blood that leaves the heart each beat is your stroke volume. If we multiply the amount that's pumped per beat times the number of beats per minute, we get the cardiac output, which is the total volume of blood moving out of the heart per minute. Okay, so now let's get into the units in an example. So if we're working with someone who's sedentary and they're resting, a typical resting heart rate might be around 70 beats per minute. If we plug that into the equation, so cardiac output equals the 70 beats per minute of heart rate times, in this case, about 70 milliliters per beat is what we do expect as a resting stroke volume for someone who is sedentary. So 70 times 70 is about 4,900 milliliters per minute. Now that's at rest and let's compare that rest value to an endurance athlete at rest. We know that endurance athletes at rest tend to have a lower heart rate and the reason for that is that their resting stroke volume is higher. This is due to the adaptations of the heart getting bigger and more efficient in pumping blood. So at rest, we might expect an endurance athlete to have a resting heart rate of say 50 beats per minute and a stroke volume of around 100 milliliters per beat at rest. So if we do that 50 beats per minute times 100 milliliters, we get 5,000 milliliters per minute and that's equivalent to five liters per minute. So what that means is that whether we are trained or untrained, our body is gonna get about five liters of blood per minute pumped through the heart and through the body. Okay, so now let's say we're doing some aerobic activity with sedentary and with an aerobically trained individual. If we get them on a treadmill and they're doing some exercise, we might see that a trained athlete pushes up into around 130 milliliters as a peak stroke volume. A sedentary individual might only be able to get their stroke volume as high as 80 or 90 milliliters. Now we know that max heart rate is really similar whether an athlete is trained or untrained. That's not something that adapts. So say they're both able to run at a max heart rate of 170 beats per minute. So this is our about 50 year old athlete. Uh, their max heart rate's around 170 beats per minute. But again, that stroke volume is the differentiating factor here. So our untrained individual might be running at 170 beats per minute with a stroke volume of 90 milliliters. So they would be delivering to their system roughly 15 liters of blood per minute. Now an endurance trained athlete might be running at the same 170 beats per minute, but their stroke volume is gonna be higher because they have a bigger heart chamber, they can push more blood out of their left ventricle. They might be pushing out let's say 150 milliliters of blood per beat. So 170 beats per minute times 150 milliliters of blood will get them a cardiac output of around 25 and a half liters per minute. And you can imagine if you're delivering 15 liters per minute versus 25 liters per minute, there's gonna be significantly more oxygen delivery for someone who's pushing more blood through the system. So that endurance trained athlete will be able to deliver more oxygen to their muscles, will be able to run faster, run longer. One thing to note here is that the endurance trained athlete was able to deliver about four to five times as much blood when they're working as they were at rest. The sedentary individual was only able to deliver about three times as much blood at their max activity versus at rest. And then one other note that I wanted to mention, Females do tend to have about 25% lower cardiac output than males, and that's typically due to lower left ventricle chamber size and just a smaller heart in general. All right, guys, if this was helpful for you, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.